for a long time, nothing came and nothing came. And what you do when nothing comes is you don't push, you just put it aside. And they were so excited, and they jumped on top of me, and they were so happy. At a moment, I felt a little bit, oh, should I have pushed them? But I knew it was okay. I knew it'd be okay because they trusted me, and they felt comfortable enough with me to, to be able to, to do that. And then they were great, and they were so happy for me. Everybody felt safe and secure because it was a man. Uh, it was perfect. At the time, you don't even think about it. You think it's like, hey, you know, we're, 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 we're playing games with a, with a bunch of kids, and, uh, and Rob's like this big kid, and he's hanging out with us, and Andy Scheinman is playing with us. But when I look back across the years, I can see that he was probably taking this time to get us comfortable. You see, it's beautifully. And um, again, it was one of those times where I think he felt uncomfortable enough with me to really expose himself. And then after this was over, I went and I hugged him and I told him I loved him and he gave me a big hug and he felt better. But it took him a while to get over it. Obviously, there was something that was very uh, hurtful to him that he, um, that he connected with. These are all things that boys go through and they're part of what makes boys men. I was experiencing that coming of age even well into my 30s because I got strength from my friends even as I got older. Uh, I remember Rob screaming at him, like really upsetting me and like that, you know, and when you're a kid and you start to like shake and maybe cry a little bit, maybe it all sort of comes out. It's all about a uh, little boy who doesn't feel good about himself, who's looking for approval, can't get it from his father, and looks to his friends to be and find that approval and feel good about himself. And once I hit that, I said, okay, I can tell. Because of those are feelings I had felt as a young kid growing up and trying to, um, you know, make my way in the world. There are certain rites of passage that all boys go through with their friends. The first time... When you're 12-year-old boys and 13-year-old boys, you really have to close to them. I mean, you can't ask kids of that age uh, to go very far. Uh, they don't have the craft yet. They're not developed yet. Uh, so I try to find kids who did have the qualities. I found my own way into it through my own personal uh, experience, and verbally, physically, to get them to do all of this. Since I was 15, he was a little older, like some months, you know, 15, that counts. He was 15 and a half, you know what I mean? And um, we did, we spent, uh, we spent a great deal of time together. Um, I, you know, I practiced a script with my mom, and I was very excited about practicing it with my mom because because uh, it was in it, you know. So I'm there with my mom, and I'm like, Mom, I'm allowed this because it says it in the script, and um, that was like very exciting for me. Yeah, and I came.